please check out our shirt on Teespring. Folks, what's happening? What's going on? Little world of curious, not too nosy. Today I'm in Campos de Besos Catholic Cemetery. It was found in 1854. Uh, it's part of property, but it says right here, busy hours from a.m. to sunset. And he's down the town that way. Originally, it was called the uh, Oregon City, but there were a lot more Latinos took over, so they changed to the Campos. So this means uh, dry camp, Spanish. And we're going to check this out, and then let me know. Like and subscribe. Maybe I'll do a bear next time. Who knows? So while I'm in here, my rice leaving me behind. And Russian rocks. Unknown graves. You have little packer. Over here, if I was here before, it was a bunch of people served in the Spanish American War. I guess good people show up because their families here. There's some good. Some more graves, new graves. Ours and still people still burying their um, folks here. So this one, they have Spanish, the American War, bitch one here. When you go to the cemetery, you see the PA, AM means uh, Spanish American War. Let me go over here. Near grave over here. No worry. Life. This one, find yours, Whittison, 1992, almost 100 years, congratulations. More near tree graves, kind of quiet area, I love this area, it's nice and quiet, not here, not much uh, noise pollution. More graves. Just when you go to these graves, you know, be respectful. I try to be respectful. These are really good history. I encourage you guys to check your grave if you find any of this sort. Looks like there's a grave right here. It's done by these markings. I don't mean to walk on anybody's hot dog, guys. There's some newer looking graves. So this is part of property. It's not historic or anything to it. I don't see no historic Californian stick signs on it. There he is. This is an interesting grave, but all the markings are gone. Let's see an interesting peace sign. More peace sign. And I'm feeding 11, 10, 71. I have no idea. Over here, but I see a ten date, but there's no um, marker of uh, the person. So what person lived? Mary. It was like a tree was was in there, and they took it out. This is the top part of the this grave. Mostly family, maybe also some man around here. So let's collect rocks. I see these kind of rocks right here. Very common to see. I don't know what sure kind of rocks these are. So there's the upper part of the grave. So if you know he's buried here or you know any much of history right here. I was like trying to fix a path right there, but it didn't really complete the path. So this place needs a lot of work. Need the beach here. We got some uh, pots with these cooked flowers, I guess. Right there. There's more. Kind of a far grave. Yeah, it will work out. Egyptian. Lewis died in 1883, I think. 39 years old. Got some 
and you think are knocked over over time. Some more little histories about this folks right here. Some time of the something something October eighty two. I think he died the year he died, fifty one years old. Also, this is later's his wife, uh, California, Northern California, born in eighteen sixty three, died in a uh, child sixty one. So it has to be sixty four. Has to be a child. Lance current. Oh, these are kind of like kids. You got Patrick going 1836 to 1889. In those days, you got to make kids, man, because you know, kids die. I guess it's a potter field right here. Bunch of nuns. Be the good forward. I'd be wrong. I was like some got their tombstones knocked over. And it was like people covered their with rocks around here. Simple burial. Who knows? Maybe it's out of tombstone a long time ago. And maybe that's parts of it right there. Yeah. There's some more little histories about this folks right here. Some junk. Of the something something October 82, I think he died the year he died, 51 years old. Also, this is later's his wife, uh, California, Northern California, born in 1863, died in a uh, child, 61, so it has to be 64, it has to be a child. Lance Kern, all oh, these are kind of like kids. You got Patrick going. 1836 to 19, 1889. In those days, you gotta make kids, man, because you know, kids die. I guess it's a potter field right here. Bunch of nuns. Be the good forward. I'd be wrong. I was like some got their tombstones knocked over. And it was like people covered their with rocks around here. Simple burial. Who knows? Maybe it's out of tombstone a long time ago. And maybe that's parts of it right there. I just missed a jackrabbit. It was right here. He hopped and ran that. Just scared the crap out of me. I thought it was maybe the rise of the evil dead or something. They come to get you, Barbara. Thing to it. There goes, there goes that right there. You can barely see him. Big old jack rabbit. So, right here, got a few other big quarries or something. Most family, oh, staff 1858 to 1937. So right there, I started right there, and I had do 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 do, a little loopy loopy. So you got more, got more piles. Not really rocky. Got a mirror tree, California. Uh, private Cornell 94 in the tree, World War One, 66. Who knows what kind of stories he could have told us about what he served. Surviving that horrible war.
These are interesting graves right here. Sometimes I'll find some really grave that will like stick out. More people. Good old plants. I get the feeling so it comes visits. Nice little fancy grave. So yeah, once again, this uh, cemetery is found in 1854. It was a, it was a gold mine, and then it kind of changed to like a uh, copper or town.